Hello, welcome to another video. This is another limit problem and we're going to see what it looks like. And remember that whenever you have any limit where x is approaching a finite number, it's not infinity, it's not negative infinity, the first move you want to make is to plug in whatever number you see into the function. So that's what we're going to do. And by the way, before we go on, please make sure you like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, be subscribed if you're not subscribed. Be kind. Be nice. Come on. Let's get into this. So if we plug in 0 into this, what do we get? We get 1 over 0. Well, that's infinity and we know it's going to be positive infinity because we're approaching 0 from the right. So we're coming in this direction. Okay? And if you have this, it's going to be 1 over arctan 0. Do you remember what arctan 0 is? Well, we know that the tan of 0 is 0, so the arctan of 0 has to be 0, okay? So that's an easy way for you to remember that from your unit circle. You know how to reverse it. So here, we have a situation where we have 1 over 0, which is infinity, minus 1 over 0, which is infinity. So you cannot have infinity minus infinity that's indeterminate because you don't know which of the infinities is bigger and you cannot tell. So we're going to have... Um, indeterminate form, that's what we have here, IDF, and it's of this nature, infinity minus infinity. But this we cannot have. So what should you do once you get into this? You can't do anything other than try to simplify or modify. So the first simplification that's available is to use this minus sign and put these two together. Okay, so let's find a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is multiply the top and bottom by octan x, and then here I multiply the top by and bottom by x so that they have the same denominator and I can combine them. And as you see, what I'm going to have is this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of arctan x over x arctan x minus, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by x, so that's going to be x over x octan x. Okay, this is what we've got now. Has anything changed? So every time you make a move, you want to make sure that you check again to see if there's an improvement in, your, in the condition of the problem. So let's plug in 0 again. If you plug in 0 here, there's going to be 0 over 0 times 0. Oh, 0 over 0. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, 0 over 0 is even worse than infinity minus infinity. So you have 0 over 0 minus 0 over 0. Ah, that's terrible. Let's not even talk about that. Okay, um, so let's put the two together. 0 over 0 minus 0 over 0. That's terrible. That's another indefinite form. This is not even a form because we can't resolve this. Okay, but because they have the same denominator. So let's see. This is the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of, if we put the two together, we're going to have arctan x minus x divided by x arctan x. Okay, let's try and plug in 0 again. We're going to have uh, 0 minus 0 divided by 0 times 0. Oh, that's 0 minus 0 gives us 0 on top. Under, we also get 0. So our, the, the problem has changed from infinity minus infinity to 0 over 0. So this is still an indeterminate form. And the form is 0 over 0. But remember, this form is the form you need when you're having this kind of problems because you can then use L'Hopital's rule. So now we can use L'Hopital's rule because L'Hopital's rule says when you have a rational expression that gives you 0 over 0, you can differentiate the top and take the derivative of the bottom also. And then you now take the derivative, you now take the limit and you're going to get your answer. So let's do that. We're going to apply L'Hopital's rule now. So we're going to say by applying L'Hopital's rule, what we have is the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of the derivative of the top. I'm going to say it's ddx of what we have here, which is going to be arctan x minus x divided by the derivative of the bottom, ddx of x arctan x. Okay, so let's see what that's going to give us if we're going to get something nicer than what we have 
here. So what's the derivative of arctan x? Now this is the part you must know or remember. The derivative of arctan is 1 over x squared plus 1. If you don't remember how to do that, I think I have a video on this channel that explains how to get the derivative of inverse functions. Search it and find it. But this as a calculus student, if you're taking calculus too, you must have this memorized. The derivative, just as you know, the derivative of sine, the derivative of cosine, you have to know the derivative of arctan x and the derivative of arc sine x because those are the two most common ones you're going to encounter. So let's go in here. So what's this derivative? So our answer is gonna be equal to the derivative of arc tan x, which is, so this is still the limit as x goes to zero from the right of, this derivative is gonna be um, one over x squared plus one minus this derivative, which is one divided by the derivative of the bottom, we're going to have to apply the product rule. The product rule says, keep the first, differentiate the second. Or some people like, differentiate the first, keep the second. Let's do that. Let's differentiate the first and keep the second. If you differentiate x, you get 1, and then you keep this. So the first part is arctan x. Okay, plus. The second part is, you're going to keep the first and differentiate the second. If we keep the first, it's gonna be x. If we differentiate the second, it's gonna be the same thing as the top, one over. So it's gonna be x times one over x squared plus one. Okay, so this is what we've got. It looks very messy, very messy. Okay, now this is my recommendation. Before you start cleaning up, so you don't double your work, try to plug in the number again and see if something good has appeared. Okay, so let's look at it. If I plug in zero here, I'm gonna have one over zero plus one, so that's one over one minus one. One over one is one. One minus one still gives me zero. Okay, so I'm gonna get zero on top. What do I get under? This is still gonna be zero plus zero times, oh, it's still zero over zero. Oh no, so you notice that even after taking the derivative, I'm still getting zero over zero. What do I do again? I apply another L'Hopital's rule because every time you get zero over zero, apply L'Hopital's rule and take the limit again. But you see, we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule because this looks really, really messy. Okay, so let's clean it up. How do you clean this up? We wanna get rid of these denominators that are causing it to look like a complex fraction. And how do you do that? Okay, you see the denominator here is the same as the one on top. So just take that same denominator, multiply this denominator by that, multiply the top also by that. So I'm going to be multiplying the top by x squared plus 1 and the bottom also by x squared plus 1. We're going to have this is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. When this multiplies this fraction, this is gonna cancel this out, you have just one left. Minus, this is gonna multiply this and you're gonna have x squared plus one. See, we're done with the fraction on top. You do the same thing to the bottom, you're gonna multiply this by this, your answer is gonna be x squared plus one multiplied by arctan x, okay? And then you're gonna multiply this by this. This is gonna cancel this, and what you have left is just one times x, which is plus x. And here we are. Okay, we've cleaned up. Remember, we already tested. We know it's gonna be zero over zero. So our next line is gonna to be to apply L'Hopital's rule again, okay? Because this is zero over zero, okay? So here we go. This is gonna be, oh, let's clean this up. This is the same thing as the limit as x goes to zero from the right, because we need to clean this up. This is gonna be one minus x squared minus one. When you expand this parenthesis, and so it gives you one minus one, and then you have negative x squared left. So this is negative x squared divided by, um, there's nothing here to clean up. We're gonna leave it as x squared plus one arctan x plus x. So, now, let's apply L'Hopital's rule to this. We're going to differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom, okay? So, let's differentiate the top. We're going to get the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. The derivative of the top now is negative 2x, 
We're done. What's the derivative of the bottom? Here we're going to, wow, this is complicated. We're going to apply the product rule again. Differentiate the first, keep the second. What's the derivative of this? There's going to be 2x. You keep the second, that's octane x. Plus, you're going to keep the first and differentiate the second. If we keep the first, what we're going to get will be x squared plus 1. And we differentiate the second, it's going to be 1 over x squared plus 1. And then there's one term left here, which is plus 1. Let's clean up. This is going to be the limit as x goes to 0 of this expression, which is negative 2x divided by. Now watch what's going to happen here. This is going to cancel this out so that you end up with just 1 here. Okay? This cancels this out. And then you're going to end up with 2x arctan x. This cancels this. So you have 1. And then you have 1. Well, if you have 1 plus 1, this is going to become 2. Nice. Now you see this has 2, this has 2, this has 2. We can factor out this 2 or divide everything by 2. What do we have next? Our next line is going to be the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of negative 2x divided by, if I factor out 2 here, I'm going to get 2 multiplied by arctan, oh, there's x, multiplied by x arctan x plus 1. Mm. Nicely, this 2 takes out this 2 so that the next line is the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of this 2 cancels this 2, so we have on top negative x. And under we have arctan x plus 1. Whew. Now, what do you think we got? Can we plug in 0 again? If I plug in 0 here, oh, I still get 0. There's no negative 0. So this is 0. If I plug in 0 here, this is 0, but this is 1. Ooh, it looks like I'm not getting 0 over 0 anymore. I just got 0 over 0 plus 1, which is equal to 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. Oh, everything we've done has been for nothing. That's your limit. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.